What is good? We're back. Big Co, your boy CM, we're uh, hammering out some roster reviews tonight. We got Big Co on the ones and twos. Good to have you back. Uh, you're, you're, you're sure to get some some rambling, some diatribes, and some tangents. <laughs> Definitely Tang- some tangents. Uh, but, you know, that's that's what you come here for. If you, if you fucks with us, you know that we're going to be uh, way over in left field on a lot of things. And, you know, you're not getting a 15 minute video here most times. Uh, it's, you know, nope. we, shoot, we shoot for 20, we end at 40 usually. So <laughs> nope. That's about how it goes going into this thing. You might not get any of that quick stuff, but uh, yeah. it, you'll, you'll, we'll be talking some legit fantasy football here in just a second. No fluff here. All right. So we got the roster reviews. Uh, we got another one coming at you from, this is from Deku, Deku. Uh, appreciate you. Got a $5 homie over here. $5 holler. Welcome. Welcome. Um, he's got a 12 man half point PPR super flex, no tight end premium. Whew. Half PPR you, super flex, no tight end premium. He's scouting this thing in a newspaper. <laughs> um, he gets five point scoring bonuses for 300 yard passing, 100 yard rushing, and 100 yard receiving games. Five points per touchdown pass and a shallow bench. Hmm. All right. So before, before I'm going to get on these bonuses and stuff sure. and how to interpret all that. Shallow bench. Let me talk about this real quick before I forget and never come back to it. Okay. So shallow bench, you can be aggressive with your trade throw ins and basically, uh, and we'll really hammer this home when we talk about these bonuses and stuff. Uh, half PPR, no tight end premium. So this is a stu- is super flex. So this is already, as soon as he got that far, half PPR, no tight end premium, super flex. This is a quarterback league, and this is a stud league, and then he says shallow bench. So that means there's people on waivers. That means you can churn, and you can find your Jaden Reeds was on waivers, I bet you. If you got a shallow bench, I bet may- maybe he's a second-round pick. And, but, you know, those types of guys like – um, well, Wicks was definitely on the. You know. Wicks was definitely on there. You know, this guy's. Kyron was probably on the bench on 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 a waiver run, most likely. Uh, you know, so you can you can replenish. You can you can trade three guys for one guy, and get guys off the bench off the waiver and put them back on your bench, and then do that over and over again. All right, let's keep going. I was checking out the taxi squad. I don't know what the clarifications for the taxi squad is, but he does have four taxi players. Okay, fair enough. Um, don't know the rules on that, but that's four more spots. So the league is entering year three was, was originally one quarterback league that transcended transition to San, uh, Superflex, San Francisco to Superflex last season. Now identifies as a Superflex. All right. right. Uh, there's a three quarterback roster limit until next season to help with transition. So I hope there was some type of more than just like, hey, guys, we're going to go to Superflex and there's a roster limit. Hopefully that was you spent one year talking about it. Uh, yeah. And so the guys, the guy, two guys in the league that had two, three good quarterbacks didn't all of a sudden be the best team in the league. When you, I, if, it was probably that guy who had all the quarterbacks his idea to transition. Hey, you guys to want to go to Super Flex? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm always like, you know, either redraft the league, redraft, redraft another league to make it Super Flex or give them a three years heads up. Like, yeah. I, you know, if you want to go Super Flex, like that's such a big, just fundamental shift, shift fundamental of- shift in the league to where you can't do that in one off season. So that's for everybody listening. Um, uh, so I was scoring a lot of points, but not winning games. So I shut it down and traded away vets for draft cap. Mostly my RBs got taken out, ended up with the one, two, one, eight and one, nine, uh, traded Aaron Rodgers for future. And I used the one, eight and one, nine to move up to one, four. Nice. Um, most likely to be able to get Marvin Harrison with the one, two and use the one, four on whatever quarterback falls. Thanks for having me. Glad finally joined Patreon. Been listening on YouTube for a while. All right. Thanks for the shout out. Appreciate you coming in as Casey said earlier. Um, got anything I want you to add, Casey, um, just off the rip before we start talking about the bonuses and then get deeper? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, looks like pretty okay. St- I'll take it from here. Pretty standard starting <laughs> uh, request. Nothing funky on the starting requirements, really. It's it's two running back, two wide receivers, uh, two flex and a super flex tight end. There um, is a tight end, and all right, so mm-hmm. the, yeah, super flex, and there is a tight end spot, and then two just two flexes. Uh, yep. All right. And then it looks like a kicker, maybe, or defense. I don't know. One, two, three. So I'm going to take. It's like 10, 10 man bench. 10 man bench. That's not that short. It's not that shallow. It's not that shallow. Yeah. Um, 
So Plus I'm going to take a four man taxi. So, all right. No, that's more. really not that shallow. No. So I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take a second to talk about these bonuses. Obviously this doesn't help you. It does help you. It really does. But they, it, it, it'll help everybody else too. If you're doing a new league and all of a sudden you have to interpret these bonuses. So it takes me about two seconds to see these bonuses right here and be like, Oh my God, this is a quarterback league. And it's a wide receiver league on top of that. It's half PPR, so it's run, running backs are, are, held, are, are a little better in half PPR, but there's so many more 100 yard receiving games than rushing games. Um, and I got the stats here to back it up just because I just, but 300 yard passing is not a lot anymore. So if you're getting five points and you get five, five points, points per so touchdown, it's not, pass. it's not four, it's in between four and six. So five, which is, I like to do that too. I like yeah, five. five points per touchdown pass is good. Cause yeah, it's like you said, six is a lot and fours, you know, so five is a good number, but that's so, but 300 yard passing games, they're, they're handing them out. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So not, not, not a, not everybody's getting them, but there was, so you got 32 quarterbacks every day, every, every Sunday. And of course they, you know, some of them, there was tons of injuries. So like 55 quarterbacks started, but for the most part, you have your regular quarterbacks in there. A couple of the big ones get hurt. And sometimes those injuries happen on the same team. You're in a quarterback four, but after the mm-hmm. first one went out, it didn't matter. But CJ Stroud and Derek Carr had six, 300 point games, 300 yard games. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven other quarterbacks had five. So we're up to nine quarterbacks already, and that's pretty consistent. So it's not like so you get a whole nother touchdown pass. You get a whole nother touchdown pass by seven. There's, and then five more had four. And, you know, yeah, six and four, not the same, but close. So you got uh, two, seven, nine, 12, 14. You got 14 at, you know, out of 32. That's not quite half, but. Half, almost half the quarterbacks that start every week are getting these bonuses more often, you know. You right. Know. And then a big, and then eight more get it three times. And that, so I, I'm just reading this distribution. I know it can get confusing, but the quarterbacks are getting these bonuses is basically what it's about um, a third of the time, right? Um, so, and then you go to wide receivers. St. Brown leads at, at 900 yard games. CD Lamb and Tyreek Hill get two at eight. Um, AJ Brown, Ayuk with seven. He, I, uh, Brock Purdy threw 40, 43 passes last week, and Ayuk ran 43 routes. 100% <laughs> route participation for the stud. Uh, and then and, and Puka got, uh, uh, was up there with seven, too. So you got uh, six wide receivers up there leading the pack with nine, eight, and seven hundred yard games. So all those are bonuses. You know, St. Brown got you a bonus literally once every other week. Like you said, an extra touchdown pass. Right. And then two, four, six, eight, nine, nine wide receivers with five. So there's just that chunk, you know. And so your your wide receivers are getting you bonuses. Your quarterbacks are getting you bonuses. And McCaffrey got you a bonus almost every, you know, every other week. Kyron Williams had, McCaffrey had seven for those counting at home. McCaffrey had seven. Kyron had six and missed four games and missed exactly. Derrick Henry had four. A chain had four. James Conner had four. And then you got seven guys with three and then it tails off drops into the twos. Mm-hmm. So it's an inch. You have to know when you see bonuses, you need to say if there's like a 40 yard play gets you one extra point, you don't have to chase it. Sure. We all know Tyreek Hill does that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. You don't have to chase it, but if you it's five points per touchdown pass is super flex and not ha, a half PPR brings down the points automatically for the wide receivers and it brings down the points on a chunk of the running backs. Half PPR doesn't hurt the quarterback at all. Non premium and half PPR kicks the tight ends in the dick a little bit. Yeah. So you take you know you so the tight ends catch the ball to get you point five. Wide receivers catch the ball you know so. Everything drops down when you go when you're at half PPR, obviously, and that and then the quarterbacks touchdowns are five, and then the bonuses. So your wide receive your your quarterbacks are just you, you and a super flex transition. So it's a weird league, but as you move forward, Deku, twenty five, you got to be making sure, and he's got Josh Allen and Brock Purdy, which is two nice fun studs to be transitioning in the super flex league. But 
you this is a make sure you got stud quarterbacks because you're mm-hmm. giving away points if you can't if you're not getting you know obviously when I say stud Derek Carr is tied for the lead with Stroud with 300 yard games sometimes it doesn't make sense <laughs> right. sometimes, sometimes it doesn't make sense you know Joe Burrow had three and he missed half the season right, right. he would have been up there he would have been the top count. a top sure he would have been a 300 yard guy all the time um so you know it's just know your bonuses and know what it does to your league you right. know um so that's 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 not only just a rant for this league it's a rant for everybody and any kind of bonuses it's like you got to understand all right where does that take me and what does it really push me into do i make a change in my strategy enough to feel it yes make sure you got stud quarterbacks and I've, obviously i'm sure those bonuses were in place when it was a one quarterback league and they just transitioned and when you go to superflex it's just that much more not only are you getting to start too there's there's not that many right so we do this every year we have this towards the end of this when when the startup when we're really doing startups and we're looking at this it's like how can you figure out how to get three quarterbacks on your team and and leave those teams with one high and dry yeah um so yeah so you know i mean like you said you're gonna go one two he's got one two one four two nine three two three four and two firsts and 25 three seconds in 25 three thirds in 25 um so you know, like you said, you're taking Marvin Harrison Jr. with with the one two, fine with that. Then you got to take one of those remaining quarterbacks, probably with with the one four there. You know, sure. even if you're tempted to take neighbors or somebody, like you should, you got to take a quarterback. You got to get one of the two with with that one four spot. Yeah, and this is the spot where like I wouldn't mind doing. All right, I'll give you that one four. You give me Jordan Love plus because and not not take anything away from Daniels or anything like that. I hope he's amazing. I loved his. I loved his interview after he got the Heisman and you can just tell like mm-hmm. he was like, this is a team award. I mean, you know, just a good dude, just a really, really good dude. The way he was like, dude, this is, I know I stood up there. I got that, but like, I'm not here if I don't have these teammates and I'm not talking about just a neighbor, you know, right. offensive line, everybody, you know, just a good dude. But like, uh, in, a, in this league where you get the yardage bonus, it's not rushing bonus, right? right. And five point touchdown, so obviously Josh Allen's out there running all over the place, but the running quarterbacks typically a little here. It, you know, typically equalize what you want. typically what you shoot after, but equalize for sure with that three hundred yard yeah. passing bonus and the five point per touchdown. Lamar runs for a hundred, great. Because I'm right. assuming now you still you get, get the hundred yard rushing well, bonus. You? Exactly. But how often is that happening in a lot of cases, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. fields? It, Every you know, once in a while. Yeah, good point. Right. So you have, the rushing quarterbacks could get the rushing bonus. That not going to happen too to often. to get to the 100 is a quite a – got to probably have big one time. big one in there right. and then some other ones. So a little neutralized, I think, for the for the legs of the quarterback slightly. Yeah, and then also it plays that, you know, now you get even more stability for your pocket passers, mm-hmm. you know. And no, I mean, we don't have but like four of those anymore anyway. But like you – your – push for those running quarterbacks that high end potential that they give you that high end ceiling for fantasy points you also take in almost like a running back type odds of injury Mm -hmm. you know so it's like all right well maybe i don't get quite you know the running backs the quarterback playing field is leveled because of these bonuses towards passing yeah so yeah i don't have to chase i don't need a team full of anthony richardson's and Lamar Jackson's not going to turn them down. Not going to turn them down, but don't have to chase them. And so for the Daniels at one four, sure that'd be fantastic. I'm not saying don't do that, but just keep that in mind. Like those but guys, I like, I like that you said. You know, maybe you trade. And love Kirk Cousins back. hadn't rushed for a yard in three seasons. <laughs> yeah. and he tore his uh, tore his Achilles. Right. You know, right. like so. Oh sure. It's not it, pocket pass. A lot of injuries to quarterbacks this year. Joe Burrow. Burrow he, but Joe Burrow's got some run if he wants it, right. but he's trying not to run, and he and his freaking wrist fell off so right. like who you know but i like i don't i don't hate that you know obviously we want the new shiny object but we we had another video that we talked about buy sell hold with jordan love in it so go be sure to like subscribe comment below check that out but we were asking if you know what you would do there and i, I don't i think this isn't a terrible spot to kind of say hey yeah go go maybe if you can get one four if you can trade your one four for like the jordan love who, who has potentially a lot of 300 games yard games in his future to right. help neutralize what Daniels could be. Mm-hmm. Um, and you already know that, that he could play, you know, I think, I think may and Daniels are going to be good, but what's the bus rate of first round quarterbacks? 50%. Right. You know, and, the, and by the time the draft comes around at one, four, the hype train is going to be so loud for those guys, no matter what. And you're probably going to get at that rookie time, 
you're going to get a lot less Jordan Love talk. It doesn't need to be Jordan Love either, but, but I mean, I'm just saying that right, was just right. But that's, that, that's a good example to tie those two videos sure, together. Sure. Um, you know, so I think I think at that time you probably get a decent shiny object in addition to Jordan Love to make that trade. Mm-hmm. I think right this minute. And Superflex, somebody's probably wants you to give them something to give them Jordan Love and that number. Yeah. But I think in at at when your draft comes around, I think it would be the opposite. Yeah. Um, so you know, the rest of the team here is is pretty pretty decent. Uh, he's got two good tight ends. He's got Kincaid and, and Conquo, which, you know, we're hoping that pans out. But we know we said tight end, uh, not extremely valuable um uh, in this less, situ- lot less situation yeah. here. Mm-hmm. And, you know, running back, he's got, you know, uh, a chain Warren Sanders Miller, so it's it's not a whole lot of fun there. So you're you know you're probably not going and winning the chip this year. I wouldn't say you'd probably have to make some moves there. Um, and then on you know the wide receiver side, you got Jamar Chase, Ayuk, Dell, Judy, Marquise Brown, Wandell, Wicks, Quentin Johnston, Wilson, and, and Tillman. So you know you, you got you got a fun wide receiver group, fun, fun wide receiver, but you got a little you know. You got some work to do in the running back wide receiver. It's not quite as shallow of the benches as as maybe as we once thought, but I, I think still remains the same. Of I think you need you need a couple more studs on this team. Sure. Well, he's already got two twenty five first. It says three twenty five seconds, um, and so and and on down the line to keep three twenty five thirds and then multiple twenty six seconds. So it you know he's got picks, not quite as many as the fella that we did last video, but. In this case, uh, you know, half PPR, you're looking for your touchdown makers, right? Um, you're not that St. Brown and those types, of, you know, the top end of the top end, you want those in any league, no matter what they're called, you know, whatever kind of league it is. Um, but, you know, uh, a Brandon Ayuk, for example, he doesn't get the touchdowns that he can produce because they got Kittle and they got McCaffrey sucking them up in every spot, you know. But like Debo. you said, Debo. So like court touchdowns everywhere, and Ayuk's uh, not getting what he deserves because they're just teams stretched out with talent. But everywhere. he probably has the most receiving yardage on that team. But he was second in um, three hundred yard games, you know. So he's hundred yard games. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry, hundred yard <laughs> games. Um, you know, so this uh, and Brock Purdy and Josh Allen and Superflex, they could drag you to the playoffs. Mm. So, I mean, he's got a couple, you know, if Tank Dale can come back and be what he was between Tank Dale, Ayuk, and Chase, right. Jamar Chase, and Allen and Purdy. You can add a third quarterback to this. You don't need many other options to score points to get to the playoffs. I mean, you got to, you, you're going to turn around And you're going to add Marvin Harrison Jr. to that wide receiver core. Right. Um, so, and then you got the one four that you can make, you know, a, make into a stud. One four be, can be a stud for you. No I feel like what. one four has got to be a quarterback one way or another for you. Here yeah. And he already said that. And he, right. he, he agreed. Um, so Whether I, it's a veteran or, a, or, or the pick, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, is there any thoughts on selling somebody like, uh, Achan here? Um, or because maybe you're not quite ready and, and maybe you can get a haul for him or what, what do we do? You addressing the running back at all right here? Or are we just kind of, letting that ride out, see how the season goes. If it's good, maybe make some trades. If it's eh, you just kind of ride it out for another season and look at that running back uh, core at the 2025 season. Yeah, I'd like to see what happens with your, you know, Marvin Harrison and then one four. Um, I, A-Chain on my team doesn't hurt my feelings at all. No, certainly you know, not. The efficiency per touch, all that stuff jumps off the chart. You know, and he missed games and he was up there in the second group of guys who would – uh, who had hundred yard games as well. Um, so, I mean, that doesn't hurt my feelings at all, but, um, you know, a Dalton Kincaid, if Knox stays like, you know, again, you're looking for tight end catch uh, touchdown catchers, Kincaid touchdown sometime, you know, Dalton Kincaid's name might get you more than his fantasy value. Yeah. I like you know? that. Yeah. Um, uh, a chain's well, name, just in, especially in this format here. Mm-hmm. So. Exactly. I mean, I'm, you know, I've got, I got a lot of Dalton Kincaid Love and I'm, Kincaid. I'm got no problems with him, but like in the half PPR, uh, format and you know, I, I would have no problems now again, you don't want to be a bust at tight end cause you got to have points at tight end. Mm-hmm. So I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't want to trade him if I didn't have any other options. You know, I wouldn't want to be relying on Chig every week. No, that's for no. sure. Um, but I, you know, you, the question was, do you trade a chain or not? Um, yes and no. Uh, you know, like his ability to get hurt kind of 
jumps off the screen almost as much as his ability to be the best player on the field, <laughs> yeah. you know? Um, so if he, if he stays healthy, you, he's one of very, very few players that makes true difference. Um, you know, long run, like so many percentage of his runs goes over 10 yards. So many percentage of, you know, highest yards per carry in the league, those, you know, ridiculousness, just scoring touchdowns from a long way away from the red zone. It, you know, he is, he's what you love to see. And he also, you know, can, when you hate to see him get picked up by a linebacker and thrown on the ground, yeah, you just hate right. to see it, <laughs> right. you know? Um, so I, it's you, this is for a rebuilding team. You're not really that far away per se. Cause your, t- your wide receivers, uh, are he- if tank Dale can come back healthy, all of a sudden you're, you're, you're so, I mean, Chase and I, look tank Dale. That's, that's super good. Throw in Marvin Harrison and you got pick, you got people down there. Wandale Wicks, Hollywood, um, you know, Hollywood. I mean, great. I mean, Hollywood could come back with, um, a vengeance next oh, year. Oh yeah. Love you know? Hollywood. So it, it, it to be determined, I, I, I would almost have no problems seeing how, you know, again, it's not a, it's almost like, Hey, who's the highest bidder bidder for a chain, you right. know? Um, I would have no problems testing the waters on a chain. I'm not, I'm not in a super big hurry to sell them. No. Um, I just thought, cause he was the, kind of your bit, yeah, a big name that could, somebody might love him, and maybe you could get a, quite a haul, get another running back back and, you know, either picks or something else somewhere. Um, not, not that again, I'm not itching to get rid of him either. Um, mm-hmm. just struck me as like, Hey, that's the, that's the glowing red thing on, on, on your running back room on a team that maybe not be super ready to compete. And maybe, maybe a chain, Achan next year is you know just doing what he did this year every other week and should have never got rid of him uh but right you know that's a there's a, there's, there's some risk and, and a bunch of reward with with him and, and potentially some good value because it's like you're not really going to get a whole lot for a lot of these secondary wide receivers you got down here like I love buying the idea of buying Wandell I think he can produce you some PPR points Wicks is fun Quentin Johnston's value is down in the dumps Wilson could be awesome and Tillman could be awesome, but nobody's giving you anything for, you know, a large chunk of those guys. Yeah. And so. in a half PPR, I'm not trying to get rid of Wilson either. He's really showed strong in the red zone. So he's a potential, he's a touchdown score and wide receiver. I'm not trying to trade Wilson. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, that's, that's, you're just, you don't have a lot, a whole lot of options of trading around too many players that I really want to get rid of. It just, uh, Devon really struck me as the guy that might be the one that could fetch you something, but you don't have to do it. It could, but if you could get a really good return, I might consider. Yeah. And it'd be interesting to see how, how, um, if neighbors like, you know, if neighbors goes three and there, you do have Daniels in may, then getting what you can get just to not make that choice might be the way the play mm-hmm. or, you know, because I think if the landing spot is something that jumps off the page for one of them, then neighbors is going to be there, and you're going and you're going to have a quarterback, and you're not going to be able to choose from two. And uh, if it's Daniels that goes to such and such, or May goes to wherever, and like you know, somehow May's in Atlanta with those options, with those you know players that he has on the offense to throw to, all of a sudden May is like the guy you can't pass up, and you know. I mean, shit. Even May in in Washington, they got is, they got players. Is, you know, I, you know, Sam Howell was, you know, he was throwing fantasy around. relevant for he the be, most part. He really was you know? for the first six weeks of the season. Not Howell, to the guys you wanted him to throw it to, but <laughs> How was doing? How was? Yeah, exactly. It wasn't going to who you thought it would when it's supposed to, but he was he was getting some numbers. Yeah, he spread it around. So, all right, you got anything else on this on this team? Um, you know, I. And for me, if the time is right, like you got three seconds in 2025, if if you had to do, if you're making a move, you know, I wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt my feelings. If, if you can look and say, Hey, one of those twos is from a really good team. So that's a late 2025 second that I have to wait on next year. And that's the one thing that gets a deal done this year. You know, I'm not trying to trade my 25 second. If I can keep, if I can help it. Um, I'm definitely not trading a 25 second from the worst team in the league right now. Um, but if I got one and it's like, Hey, that dude right there stacks, his team should be more yeah. than, more than good. good I could use that. You know, you got three 20, 25 thirds, uh, would have no problem. Um, you know, using those as necessary if they help. Um, 
you know, unloading, unloading some of those to make things happen. If they're not yeah. helping you, don't use them because they're only right. going to get more valuable. What, what are your thoughts on like, all right, so this is turning into a super flex soon. So how, how crazy do you think people are going to go on the quarterbacks like Knicks, McCarthy and Penix, you know, could all, all be sitting there. You, you think those guys get driven up to, you know, one nine, one ten, one eleven, just because everybody's, you know, potentially like, oh, we got to we got it. There might be some overreaction a little bit or, you know, because I was initially thinking like, oh, maybe, maybe you do take one of those seconds and and try to just get into another second this year and grab two of those you know how can, how can i grab two of the three of nicks mccarthy and Penix? basically well, you can't, there's here. a there's a three quarterback limit no this year yeah okay so it's and i think it turns to super flex oh, this see, year but yeah. it's a three quarterback limit so you can only have three yeah um, gotcha so and gotcha. that you know in well, that case and 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 edit and, that out <laughs> well, right no leave it in yeah so, no, I'm but 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 the thing about it is is like and we've seen this with a league that we started up last year. It wasn't our idea to start the league, but we we joined it, and some guys had not been super flex yet. So this league transitioning to super flex, there may be three or four guys who still don't position, don't value the quarterbacks yet. They don't know to. Right. They haven't been there long. They don't enough. know how to value. Them. So there might, you know, whereas those guys, they, you know, I because I think if you had a league full of people who had played super flex before. I don't think you start at one quarterback league. Yeah. You know, uh, it's just, old, it's half PPR. I, I, I feel like this league is old school. You know, I haven't, I'm not I, trying to change, keep it bland. Yeah. You know, just put some ketchup and mayonnaise on that thing and keep it remote moving mm-hmm. and, and uh, no spicy mustard over right. here, you know? So I, I feel like, uh, the, those quarterbacks are not going to get pushed up and I don't think they can because the, the roster right. limit would right. be in three, um, they might get pushed up a few rounds just because maybe some people don't don't have enough mm-hmm. and maybe they want some, but yeah. All right. Anything else to add? You got to take, if you got three quarterbacks, you just got to trade, you got to trade two for one and then open up a spot and go get another one. Uh, you know, like you, like Purdy and one four and now Purdy and Daniels and I get Mahomes or etc. You know, can I get can I take Purdy and one four and get Stroud and something else and have an open spot at quarterback? If there's a max, you see what I'm saying now? Like I now I open myself to go. You'd rather have an open spot than a third to start this to start the super flex. Well, if I can turn now, if I got Josh Allen and and Patrick Mahomes, I'll take an open spot. Yeah, because I can go get a third. It's not it's not gonna stay open for long. Right, I can feel it. But as soon as you're full, you're full, and now all yeah, of a sudden. Now, now you're sitting there and there's a good quarterback, like undervalued, potentially like nice profitable asset right there. And you can't do anything with them because you got three quarterbacks. Right. I think that's a good, I think that's a good point. Uh, that's actually a really good point of maybe try to, maybe try to make the upgrade, even if it is just like love and, and plus a bunch more. Um, and, and you, uh, you lose, maybe you lose Purdy in one four and you get you get a, a haul and maybe it's just love, but maybe I'm, you're trying to go. A You're going to get a lot more than right, love. Right, right. I'm, Purdy, I'm, Purdy and yeah. Purdy and Jaden Daniels. The, or Purdy and May is going to get you something good. Str- you know, hopefully you can get Stroud or you know something. Burrow, Stroud plus, right? Burrow you're, plus. You're trying to get up in there plus, right? Because you're giving somebody two quarterbacks. But, but leaving their, leaving the open spot and how you, how you just broke that down of and before you we even got there of saying how they might not know how to value somebody that leaves the spot to then use all your other assets in season to go add the third for cheap when somebody maybe doesn't know how to value the the quarterback right you know that's yeah. kind of you know somebody to get the brock purdy of last year right somebody or the jordan, or love, the jordan of last love year, right somebody's sleeping on right now you're not going to be able to do that because you're going to take daniels or may at four and you're going to be blocked up so now you got to take those two th- that guy and purdy and put them together and go get you already got josh allen so just get another top in top three guy and then have an open spot and use it right yeah no i think that's i think that's a good that's a good call there i like that because um, you're you're limiting yourself, but you can upgrade and then leave it open for the value, and to be able to strike on somebody, and just find find the guy who isn't doesn't hasn't quite figured it out yet, and I'm sure it's I'm sure it's half the league maybe, or mm-hmm. at least a third. Um, so uh, more is sleeping on on somebody who they think stinks. Um, so all right, we're gonna get out of here. Appreciate you guys. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, comment below. Five-star review if you're listening on the podcast. $5 holler over on Patreon. Get you into the Discord. 
Um, all that jazz uh, t-shirt over on Revelry Brewing Company. Dot com revelrybrewco.com mm-hmm. which is t-shirt support the team in a different way um, yeah gonna be hitting some live mocks real soon here because the rookies have been added we got a slow mock going on in the patreons we'll be building the ADP uh, now from from here until August so uh, you, you'll get that in the uh, in the discord in the patreon and we're, we're putting together a little a little rookie uh, little rookie guide kind of deal mm-hmm. um, so that'll be fun first time we're kind of building that out so Stay tuned, and and, uh, hopefully we'll see you over there. Good stuff. Thanks. Peace.